Hey everyone, it's Madison and it is about time that I make this video. I have been living in Germany, Berlin, Germany for a month and a half and right when I got to Germany and Berlin, <laughs> there was a little bit of a culture shock. Of course, there's a lot of differences. Most of them are pretty small, but when you first move to another country, those small little differences add up and it's it's an adjustment period for sure um, but i wanted to film this video like culture shocks or differences living in berlin germany compared to the us this be my experience it might not be for all of germany or all of europe um but this is my experience so i'm going to tell you that okay so the first one i'm going to kind of like break this video up into segments so we're going to talk about like just basic things um, eco-friendliness, uh, rules, animals and kids, of course, food, all that stuff, okay? I also need a list to help me stay on track because sometimes I get side sidetracked um, pretty easily. So hopefully I can follow this list and not make this video like seven hours long. Okay, so first things first, basic stuff. Obviously, Germany uses euros instead of dollars that's basic what i didn't know and this is this is so embarrassing i didn't realize that there were euros in two dollars and i ended up tipping someone two euros instead of one euro and it was which is fine but like you don't tip a lot here in germany you usually tip like the remainder of your um, bill so you like round up and i tipped him two dollars or two euros instead of just one so it actually was kind of like a big deal but yeah so euros instead of dollars the next thing cash <laughs> germans love cash in fact some of the restaurants don't even accept card they only take cash so if you come to germany and berlin make sure to get cash because like I said, some of the places do not accept card. The next thing, metric system versus the imperial system. Um, obviously, Europeans use the metric system, so grams, meters, kilometers, all that stuff, when the US uses the imperial system, so miles and gallons and inches and feet and that sort of stuff, okay? Well, when I first moved to Berlin, this was about, oh, I think it was like a week and a half after I moved here, one of my friends gave me his gym card to go to the gym, try it out, see if I liked it so I could get like a membership if I wanted to. So I went to the gym, you know, hopped on my treadmill, put my typical like six miles per hour on, six miles per hour, that's what I was thinking start start going and i'm like wow this treadmill is so slow like what is going on with this i was like huh and i'm like looking around I'm like trying to gauge other people's treadmills and it's like so high um and that's when i realized no the treadmills are not in miles per hour they're in kilometers um and obviously i switched my treadmill uh to a higher pace because if i would have stayed at that pace it would have been like walking the whole time um so that was a big like adjustment for some reason for me um obviously celsius to fahrenheit i feel like i'm constantly trying to convert things not just in the gym with treadmills and lifting and stuff but also with the temperature now we're gonna move on to like more eco-friendly atmosphere okay germany is definitely more eco-friendly than the u.s and i feel like honestly all of europe is first thing when you go to the supermarket you have to bring your own bag like you can't i mean you could purchase a bag there but if you don't want to purchase a bag you bring your own bag they don't just have bags like the u.s has where they just pack everything in bags and the next thing is recycling germany has so many different like recycling things and you have to separate everything so paper bottles um compost like so many different things i still don't know like 
exactly all the separation rules in Germany, to be honest. Hopefully I figured that out soon, but they're much more into recycling. Everybody recycles. I don't know if they need to pay for recycling, but in the US, in a lot of places, you have to actually pay to recycle, which is so crazy. Um, Cause we should be like, <laughs> I don't know, promoting recycling, I feel like. I don't know if they have to pay for recycling, but everybody recycles here. They also have this super cool bonus for recycling bottles. So if you go out, get some drinks, um, like beer bottles or something, you can actually bring them back to the supermarket and there's like this little machine that you can insert the bottles in and you get paid some money back. So basically you're, you're like getting your money for your uh, bottles back so they can reuse them, which is a really nice system. Um, I'm sure there's places in the US that do that. I have never seen them, but maybe they exist. Um, if not, they definitely should. <laughs> All of these things should exist in the US because I feel like everyone should be as eco-friendly as they can be. The next thing is toilets. Okay, this is kind of random. <laughs> But the toilets have way less water here. Like in the US, I feel like they're filled with water. Like so much water. Here, there's like a little bit of water at the bottom, but like not as much as the US, which is also probably way more sustainable, reducing water consumption. Because if you think about each flush, it's a lot of water. Oh, and while we're talking about toilets, I'm gonna switch over to talk about showers. So I don't know if this is a thing in all of Germany or in Europe or if it's just my apartment, but the shower here has like a little like um, thing you can like detach and like shower off with and not like an actual like shower head that's like built in and stays in the wall, if that makes sense. And in the US, I feel like all or most like 95% of showers are attached to like the wall or like the ceiling most of the time the wall i think you can like get attachments where you can take it off and like use it but most of the time it's attached to the wall and here at least in my apartment it is not like that at all like we don't have an attachment to the wall we just have like a handheld which i didn't like at first but now i actually like it you know i i like being able to just use it wherever it's kind of nice um and also i think it actually reduces the amount of time you're in the shower because you're physically doing things if that makes sense like you're not just standing there having everything like done for you i guess i don't know i like it uh it was an adjustment to me for me to be honest um a small adjustment okay next thing is windows i guess this isn't necessarily eco-friendly but i feel like a lot of germany doesn't use air conditioning um what I heard and the windows like the windows you can open the windows um, you see the little like latch most people open their windows every day to like air out their room uh, which is really good for your health and it's also good for your room because you don't get mold as often the US at least in my dorms and in some other places you physically can't open the windows you can't open the windows to air anything out like they're bolted shut <laughs> which is so crazy. Next section, rule following. Germans are strict with rule following. No jaywalking. If you jaywalk, people will look at you. They have quiet hours that you really need to respect. Every day, I believe there's quiet hours between like one and three. Okay, so you can't even like mow your lawn during these hours. And I'm not over here mowing lawns. I don't have a lawn, but it's a funny like, a thing that you i don't know like in the u.s i'm pretty sure there's got to be rules i'm guessing about mowing lawn and when you can do it but i don't think between one and three like anybody's just doing what they do whenever they want i feel like um but here quiet hours is a big thing oh everything's closed on sundays i mean you can go to a busy train station and you'll find some stuff open but most of the things, stores, like grocery stores, convenience stores, everything is closed on Sundays. So get your shopping done on Saturdays or during the week. Uh, last thing in the rules category is drinking anywhere. Like you can just 
carry around a drink wherever you want. If you're on the Ubon, you can have a, have a drink with you. It's so different in the US. Like you can't just carry around alcohol wherever you go. And then next category is like, like acceptance, I guess, like people's uh, views towards others maybe and how they feel about how people view themselves. Body acceptance is huge here. They have coed saunas that are completely nude and like people just don't care. Like that's just a thing. Like body acceptance is a thing. People don't put so much emphasis on nudity like as an inappropriate thing, but rather it's just normal. You're just human. You could be nude and saunas with other people of opposite sex. In the US, obviously people are nude in saunas in like their same sex, but like together usually people wear clothes. But I feel like nudity is much more prevalent here. So they just, I feel like they don't care what other people think as much. I literally saw a chick the other day wearing a picture frame as a necklace and she was rocking it. She she did not care. Like she got off that Uban and she was going with her picture frame, okay? Maybe it's just Berlin. I don't, I'm assuming it's just Berlin for that one. <laughs> But people, at least in Berlin, they don't care. They could be rocking anything and they are totally fine with it. And everybody else, they don't care either. You do you. If you're not harming anybody else, it's totally fine. Okay, next one is animals and kids. The squirrels, they look a little different. They look like lynx squirrels. Like they have the little like, I don't know. I'll also insert a picture or video here. I almost got attacked by one the other day. Okay, and look at this squirrel. Oh my goodness, it's so different. Oh my gosh, it's coming at me. Okay, um, kids. Oh my goodness. Little kids here are so cute. I mean, little kids everywhere are so cute. But in Germany, in the winter time, like, they're like bundled in like huge snowsuits. And it's not even that cold anymore here. And they're still in these huge snowsuits looking so cute um and it's everyone it's like all the kids they're all wearing them even if it's not snowy they're just chilling in them outside walking in their little lines it is absolutely adorable and going along with that the kids here are so independent when i'm on the uban in the mornings they are on the uban too going to class like i'd say as small as first grade probably in regards to that berlin is so safe like so safe U.S. cities that I've been to, Chicago, Indianapolis, Atlanta, all those places, they're not safe. You can't do that if you're a kid. Like, no, no one in their right mind would do that, I feel like. It's just not safe. Here, it's, it's very safe. Like, it's so safe. Obviously, there are places that you want to avoid still, but in, in general, like, the city itself is more um, safe than other cities in the U.S. that I've been. Okay, last are just like two little points. The food is cheaper uh, in the grocery stores, at least the fresh produce is. I spend way less on groceries here than I did in the US. Some weeks I spend 20 euros on groceries a week. Some weeks I can spend up to like 50 euros. It really just depends on the week and how much I got the week before and stuff like that. But in the US, it's not, I spend way more on groceries I feel like. And then lastly, cafe culture is so big here. Everybody loves their cafes. They don't just go to Starbucks in a drive through and get their little Starbucks and go off somewhere. That is just a few items like culture shocks, or differences between Germany and the US. As I mentioned, some of these might not be for all of Germany. They may only be for Berlin and they may only be for like this area and my experience but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you liked it make sure to subscribe and have a great rest of your day